Huddersfield in November. Balbir Singh and residents of the Spring Grove area prepare to celebrate bonfire night. They live in a courtyard of old decaying houses. It seems there's plenty to burn. Just for it to be simpler. An ancient British ritual being honoured with enthusiasm by some very modern citizens, coloured Englishmen. Hey, Bob, we are... now, Guy Fawkes, they were usually... Guy Fawkes uh, blowed the parliament in 19... No, I mean 1605. They blowed the parliament on 1605. They tried to blow the parliament up, but they didn't succeed. There were about yeah. three men. But two of them escaped. The Guy Fawkes was the, the one who were going to light the gunpowder, but, they, but he got caught. They had the uh, wood stacked up and all that. They tried to uh, get Guy Fawkes to tell them who's the other men, but, but Guy Fawkes wouldn't speak. Why was Guy Fawkes trying to blow the parliament up, do you know? Um, because uh, because uh, there was a special meeting going up. I don't know what about, what it was. I just learned this 1605 today, in, uh, in history today. Mm, in history. Guy Fawkes night is an early introduction to parliamentary ideals. But how do Westminster and British institutions filter through here? I've just got one for hey, don't burn me. A community relations concert. Huddersfield parading its integrated past. The town has had four other recent migrations, Poles, Hungarians, Irish, and these Ukrainians. Daughters of migrant workers from Eastern Europe who, despite their jaw-breaking names, are culturally absorbed, integrated Yorkshire lasses. Government policy is to foster good relations. The Community Relations Committee in the town organized the concert. It is the close arm of government. By displays of civic harmony like this, the city fathers give an official lead to Huddersfield citizens. I believe, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that this concert is a fine example of the way in which the various communities who live in our town can work and play happily together with complete friendship. Following in the steps of the East Europeans have come West Indians and Asians. 6,000 West Indians in all have brought their families and their English culture from the Caribbean. The song is a plaintive tale of poverty among peasants in Jamaica. Today, England has become the place to make the money they can't make at home. These are the municipal strivings for better relations. Monday to Friday, immigrants live a real life outside. Huddersfield also has 6,000 Asians, the eddies of a once fast flowing tide. Come along, don't take all day. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. No, the immigrants, now 9% of Huddersfield's total population, are heavily concentrated in this old inner area of the town. A mile away, where the coloured area peters out, the white population looks on with a wild surmise. This area now uh, is mostly immigrant. Uh, one might say, if you're seen in this area, somebody might come up to you and say, Dr Livingston, I presume. <laughs> John Bramley, a tough-minded local estate agent, is also an exacting neighbour. Uh, they don't look after the houses here, as you will so able to be able to see. Well, I, you see, I don't see that altogether because it doesn't look too bad to me. You call this a slum, do you? Well, it's boarding on it because there are houses with bathrooms in. Uh, when they paint them, they only paint them with one coat of paint. Uh, they don't really look after these properties. I, I think eventually they will come down. The whole area will come down. They'll have to come down. 
The stiffest test of white attitudes comes when immigrants have the money to buy better houses. Will they then be allowed the same mobility as whites? This would appear to be the district where the immigrant, when he wishes to better himself, has come to live. Property values have fallen here. I think it's rather unfair because obviously these being two and bedroomed houses, the immigrant is wishing to live as we live. Uh, and to be as we are. Uh, but are white people starting to move out of here too? They are to a certain extent, unfortunately, yes. Um, now, why do they do that? I would not know. Perhaps it's a question of give a dog a bad name and that the people who are coming, the immigrants who are coming here, are suffering from the actions of their brethren in the areas we have just been to. I wouldn't know this, but I don't think they move out immediately. But I think they are up to sort of say, well, I think the man says to his wife, I think, dear, we look for something else in another area. But can you tell me what do these people object to? I mean, all the houses look the same to me. I, I couldn't tell it. It's very difficult, places. except perhaps the neighbor doesn't speak your language. You can't talk over the garden wall to Mrs. Brown. I think perhaps there may be the smell of the cooking again, which uh, is somewhat objectionable if they use the, uh, if they're using uh, their native dishes. I can't smell any smell of cooking here. Can I you? quite agree with you. I quite agree. It, it is a little bit unfair and understandable, but here they, the prices have not dropped as much as normal. But there's no inflationary trend. And I think people are glad to sell these houses at the price they gave for them something like five or six years ago. It's not just in the new suburbs that Mr. Bramley will wish them to conform, but down among the old back-to-backs as well. It seems amazing to me that a man should paint his brickwork like that and allow his downpipes to be broken and cracked. I would have thought his endeavours would have been a lot better uh, directed to mending his downpipe than painting his stonework. But if he wants to brighten it up, and God knows it could do with brightening up, couldn't it? I mean, why does people object to him trying to brighten it up? Really? I don't think they like the Yorkshireman is really taking to this uh, flamboyant colours of the blue and the red and the green and the yellow. Mm. And they do have this habit of painting the stonework, which... Uh, I am sorry for them because I feel that when they come in here seeking houses, they are totally lost. They have come into the town with no money. A lot of them don't understand the language. They don't understand English law. They don't understand anything like that. And they are quite lost on, on this matter. And a lot of them, their, their way of life is so different. We find one of the difficulties here is there's an awful lot of back-to-back -back properties in Huddersfield which share the same lavatory. Well, why is the lavatory question important? Well, this is rather a delicate question, but their methods of cleanliness are far different from ours. Uh, from what I can glean, I haven't been with one, but from what I can glean, they go down with a bottle to this toilet with uh, a large, uh, very large toilet roll or... Uh, Sunday newspapers or ordinary newspapers which are rather apt to block the toilets. Uh, probably it's a cleaner method than ours, but it's a method that we don't, uh, and the ordinary Englishman doesn't just understand. And it worries people, does it? Doesn't oh, it? I think it must do. Uh, we've had a, an example today of, of, of w three people moving out of rented houses around a, a, a Pakistani immigrant. And their answer has been this. So what do you feel the long-term prospects here are? Do you feel that Huddersfield will accept its coloured population? Um, well, there is a, um, there must be um, an underlying fear that there could be trouble in the future. Uh, we have seen a very slight start of it in Leeds some months back. Um, I think the answer to this is not to teach the Yorkshiremen Pakistani culture, but to teach the Pakistani Yorkshire culture. Do you not see that as a process of give and take? I mean, do you, you... Well, my thoughts, and I, I must only express my own personal thoughts, that if they're coming to live in a West Riding town, they must understand our laws 
our, our ways of life, our food and our clothes. Because he has drawn apart from the inner areas, the white Yorkshireman is now a stranger to where the coloured immigrants live. Inside the immigrant houses looking out, it seems different. Young Balbir Singh's family would be mystified by the judgments being arrived at outside. This is their world as they see it. How many of your family are there living in this house now? Ten. Ten. And how many rooms do you have here? We've got two rooms upstairs, but there's one room, bath, bathroom and a toilet. Mm. And uh, there's one room here. So you've got, you've got three rooms, mm. in fact, have you? Um, do you find it overcrowded at all, with ten people in three rooms? No, I don't think so. Has anybody ever said it's overcrowded, you know, come round and said, you've got too many people living here? Mm. Nah, I don't know, really. How many wives has your father got? Two. Why is that? Because his brother died. He was lost somewhere, so he married his wife. Have people here in Huddersfield ever said that they don't like this, that they don't like having somebody no, having two wives? No, they haven't said wives? anything about it. Does your father speak English? Not much. I don't think he'll understand what you say. Is he trying to learn it? He can't even, he can't even write his sign. He can't do his sign. But is he trying to learn English at all? No, I don't think so. Could you ask him why, why he's not trying to learn English or whether he's really trying to learn English? He said he hasn't got any time because he's always at work. He comes home about half past seven. At school, for example, you get on perfectly well with the white boys, do you? Yes. But they don't play with me. The white boys don't play with me. Do they not play with just you or with any of the colour With boys? any colour boys. Mm. Why not? I don't know, because I've only got three friends in my class and they speak to me, but they don't play with me. Three white friends? Mm. Do you play with them? Do you want to play with them? Yes. What happens when you try to play with them? They just say I've got work to do with other friends. Tell me more about your life at school. Well, I like it at school, but sometimes they call me silly names. And I don't like it, really. What do they call you? Like sometimes, your black coloured or your wogs, something like that. They call me silly names like this. Guy Fox, they were usually... Guy Fox uh, blew the parliament in 19... No, I mean 1605. They blew the parliament on 1605. They tried to blow the parliament up, but they didn't succeed. There were about yeah. three men. But two of them escaped. The Guy Fox was... Uh, the one who were going to light the gunpowder, but, but he got caught. He had uh, his wood stacked up and all that. The Huddersfield in November. Balbir Singh and residents of the Spring Grove area prepare to celebrate bonfire night. They live in a courtyard of old decaying houses. It seems there's plenty to burn. Just put it to be simpler. An ancient British ritual being honored with enthusiasm by some very modern citizens Coloured English. But how do Westminster and British institutions filter through here? Hey, don't burn me! A community relations concert. Huddersfield parading its integrated past. The town has had four other recent migrations Poles, Hungarians, Irish, and these Ukrainians daughters of migrant workers from Eastern Europe who, despite their jaw-breaking names, are culturally absorbed, integrated Yorkshire lasses. <music> Government policy is to foster good relations. The Community Relations Committee in the town organized the concert. It is the close arm of government. By displays of civic harmony like this, the city fathers give an official lead to Huddersfield citizens. I believe, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, get Guy Fawkes to tell him who's the other men, but, but Guy Fawkes wouldn't speak. Why was him. Guy Fawkes trying to blow the parliament up, do you know? Um, because uh, because uh, there was a special meeting going up. I don't know what about, what it was. I just learned the 1605 today, in, uh, in history today. Mm, in history. Guy Fawkes' night is an early introduction to parliamentary ideals. 